Well, welcome to another Gibbs adventure. And uh, I'm out on the trap line today, pretty sunny. It's uh, October 30th and uh, you can see that I'm clearing up my trails. There was a storm a couple years ago and it knocked down a bunch of trees. So ideally, what I'd like to be able to do is just be able to drive down here with my truck. This is my trail down to the to the river where I access the Nat River to trap beaver. And uh, it's really sunny, it's sunny that side. But uh, anyways, I gotta clear this up with my chainsaw. So I'll do a little before and after picture. But uh, I do a lot of work on my trap line, keeping old roads like this open. At one time, this was a haul road and there would have been uh, two logging trucks wide at least. So probably 50 feet of road here. And it ends up over the years, they probably cut here in the late 1980s. And uh, as time progresses, the uh, trails or the roads turn into trails that I kind of maintain. This one goes down an esker, so gravel uh, gravel area. So it's easy to maintain. I just have to keep keep cutting down the trees and, and keep it open. So we'll see how it goes. I'll show you a quick before and, and an after picture when I get done here. So here's a before and after. So you can see, if you look way down the trail, you can see my chainsaw. So I cleaned out, cleaned it out. And uh, something I wanna show you here, if I find it again. One of the things I try to do with the brush is make piles. So that's all the tops that were on the road. And I made a pile there because one of the things lacking in this reforestation, this was clear cut logging on an esker and jack pine. And it's very, there's not much under uh, coarse wood debris on the ground for animals to hide in. So by making a pile like that, a snowshoe hare or something can hide under that brush pile and it helps them a little bit. At least it makes me feel good anyways. And uh, I'm trying to find, I had a, the squirrels do it all the time. Okay, so here, here's an example. The squirrel has cached a, a comb here. That's a jack pine comb, and uh, he'll uh, he'll eat it this winter. So they do that with mushrooms all the time. You know, humans aren't the only things that like mushrooms. I can find a couple of mushrooms that are stashed, but the red squirrels do that in the boreal forest here. They uh, they stash food, they cache food for when it's uh, lean times, and uh, they'll pick the mushrooms and they'll stick stick them in the crush crook of a, a jack pine and they'll eat them later on. So it's not just humans that like mushrooms. It's also the red squirrels in the forest here. But uh, anyways, lots of work. Full-time job trying to keep my trails open. Everybody likes to use them, but nobody is invested in the area as much as I am. So you don't, uh, you don't see anybody else really keeping the roads open. They'll drive over everything, trying to look for the grouse, but they don't realize but the smoother you keep the roads, the more opportunity you you have to see grouse. Very good grouse area. Lots of spruce hens in this this type of jack pine. But uh, overall, it's a good spot. You can't go very far down my roads, and you'll see shell casings on the ground from shotguns. I uh, personally, I never ever do that. I always pick it up after I shoot. But uh, here's another one. doesn't take long for the roads to get littered like this. Plastic water bottles, beer cans, and pop cans are the main things that I pick up all the time. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, but uh, it's anyways, it's what I do. So I try to keep it uh, as clean as possible. Here we go, it's right beside the truck. But uh, you can see how the squirrel put that mushroom there. And he'll uh, he'll come back later in the winter or in the fall here and eat that. So it's just a way for them to survive. They're putting up food, making a cache, because literally you'll get snow probably really close to that height over the course of the winter. Sometimes we get four feet of snow. 
Sometimes we don't, but that's uh, kind of an average. And uh, it's a way for the red squirrels to survive the winter. They put mostly mushrooms, they put them up in the tree like that. But uh, if you ever go through the bush and you see mushrooms stuck in the crock of a tree, that's what's going on is it's a winter cache for the red squirrels. So there you go.